could have been lifting the trophy right now. That's all gone. That's all about this next frame. Sean Murphy will be determined to win it and force a decider. From Tanti. So I'm off it to break. Sean Murphy on the comeback trail. He trailed 10 7. It's now 10 9. Possible two frames remain. How many times have we seen that this week, though? The red coming back down the table. Yeah, he's got a good cue ball and managed to cover the red. Now, can Sullivan pot this red to the left corner? Let's have a look. Can't see that one. And not let it and see the other one. And that red going a little closer to the middle than he would have wanted. Well, that's another very brave shot, that, from Sean Murphy. To take that red on like he did. He knew he was leaving this red to the right middle, had he missed it. What a brave shot that was. Uh, I've said this a lot of times. I'm sure you're fed up of me hearing me say it, but it doesn't deserve to be a loser here. Five. Choices of going into them or playing for the loose ones. Well, look at that for a split. He's given himself a great okay. chance here. Didn't hold back. Caught the pink full in the face. I'm made sure of being on a colour by playing for one of the bulk colours. Black goes to that right corner pocket. So good could do with playing for the red over that left corner. Fourteen. Has Sean Murphy 15. saved his best for last? He's looked so determined these last couple of frames. Didn't play a great safety shot on Sullivan, leaving the red on to the left middle, but what a brave shot to take on from Sean Murphy. Yeah, and of course he'll picked up on the body language you've seen O'Sullivan reacting to shots he really wants to win this tournament so Murphy knows that he's under a bit of pressure to do that particularly if he can make another big break here going to the decider with three big breaks in a row He's overscrewed it. Played for the red to the left middle. Now he's in the lap of the gods. Like Does the red pass the green? No big bounces, just adrenaline. That is a real let off for O'Sullivan if the red doesn't pass the green. Uh, 
he was about to take the red onto the right middle there. No, just the safety. So, a let off for O'Sullivan, a rare let off. That's a dangerous shot to play. He's got a good cue ball. Well, I said it was a dangerous oh. shot to play, but what a shot from O'Sullivan. An incredible pop from O'Sullivan there. Look at this. Close to being dead under the ball cushion. Slots is in. Slots it in as nice as you please. So he gets his chance. is an excellent positional shot he's played for the red below the pink Five. knowing full well he's on the other red to the right corner has he i don't think he's quite come far enough for that red but he always knew he was going to be on this red still thinking so well Six. Wonder if Karen Wilson's watching. Of course, he was five one up in their quarter final, had chances at various points. Good one actually at six four after he got a free ball. Sorry, at five four after he got a free ball. That was the major scare until today for O'Sullivan along the way to the final. Twelve. A year ago, he made a century in frame 20 to win the tournament against Barry Hawkins, 11-9. Well, he would have liked to have been the other side of the pink here, just to give those reds a nudge with the insurance of that red over the middle. It wasn't to be, so at some stage Thank it you. needs to give them a nudge. And he can do it this time. If he could catch that red above the black and to the right. And he's okay. That red going over the middle. And this one to the corner. Everything there for the taking. Doesn't need that safe red on the left side cushion. Just working things out. And it can be difficult sometimes, but doesn't need that red if he takes big value colours. 28. 
Makes a great red. Pulled it to get in. Murphy was in first, though, with the chance to force the decider. 35. Now it's out of his hands. Ronnie still trying to work out the scores in terms of what he needs. Oh, if he takes three blacks here, well, by playing for the pink, it means he can't take the blue. Forty-two. Wiggled in. Forty-three. So. 20 in front, two reds, two blacks. Murphy will need a snooker. Fifty. Yes, it's got to be a black note. Taking those pinks like he did. 57. He's got to get to the black. Or he needs that last red. 58. Lots of right hand side on the cue ball. If he takes a pink, Murphy can tie. How's your doubling? Doesn't need to play for the black. Six Drop the cue ball in behind the black. He knocked one in earlier, didn't he? But this is for the title. And in it goes. And he is delighted. Little clench fist. He's been up for this right from the first match. And for the second season in a row, he starts his campaign by winning the Shanghai Masters. 72. And he'd been put under it, hadn't he? Murphy was coming back strong. 74. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. 77. Well, he's just still an extraordinary figure in our sport. He divides opinion like a lot of extreme characters. Some people think he could do no wrong. Some people think 51. he could do no right. The truth, as ever, is somewhere in between. What remains true is that he is an incredible player and an incredible champion and he's responded to the pressure here of the Murphy comeback. An incredible style. Murphy played so well all week. He played great stuff in this final. But in the end, it's Ronnie O'Sullivan who completes a hat-trick of Shanghai Masters titles. Three years running he's won this event. Really great viewing all day between these two, a hard-fought contest, and you can see just how happy he is to have got his hands on that trophy.